Got it. <clears throat> All right. Getting there. Getting there. It's almost about to happen. I don't know why it's thinking so hard, but it's thinking very hard. It says we're live streaming now, but I don't see that happening. So I'm not <laughs> sure if I should trust it or not. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Usually it shows me what's going on. So this makes me nervous, but uh, let's go ahead and just go. Okay. Uh, just start I'm yelling gonna... a bunch of. Uh... Oh, there we are. And see if we there we, down. Yeah, let's just do that. No, we're good. We're live now for sure. <laughs> I am Emily Reese of Level with Emily, and I'm here with producer Sam Keenan. And this is Next Level, where we talk about the episode of Level that's coming up in a couple of days on Friday this week. And this week's guest is unique because he's the creator of software for audio purposes. And uh, it's been a huge learning experience for me and I think Sam too. Uh, but we spoke with a uh, Portuguese software developer slash musician named Nuno Fonseca from, and his company is called Sound Particles. And essentially particle science, particle um, systems have been mm -hmm. used in film. Did right. you know this, Sam? Did you I know did the know first this, movie? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Since 1982's Star Wars or Star, oh, Star Trek, <laughs> The Wrath of Khan, which is such a great film, right? I mean, it's one of yeah. your favorites. Yeah, well, it's it's the best Star Trek movie, that's for sure. <laughs> and they use it for the Genesis effect. Explain what that is. Uh, the Genesis effect? Isn't that what they call it in the movie? The the uh, do they call it the effect? I don't know, but the but but basically it's it's a way to well, it's a it's it's a way to make a bunch of little tiny uh, things. So oh, you're talking it, about particle systems. Yeah. 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 So that, so that it's, so then it, in the movie, I think they just, they use that to just make the effects look better. And that stuff has gotten massively good now, you know, yeah. where, where they can make all sorts of crazy, really tiny. Cause part of the problem is you got all those, uh, you got all those elements and they, they're too much to render. So yeah. you got to have a way to like see the ones that are close and kind of blur out the ones that are in the background so you can get mm -hmm. everything still there and all that stuff. And yeah. So it's like for like fire or an explosion or smoke or a cloud right. or anything that you can think of that exists and, and itself is one large object made up of millions of tiny ones <laughs> right. like fire. Right. So yeah. Nuno and his company decided to apply this technique to sound. Mm -hmm. And as a result, over the last uh, handful of years, his uh, sound particles audio software has been used in huge, like any Marvel movie you can name at this point, DC films, all these big epic blockbuster things, whether on film or television. He's done the um, new Lord of the Rings TV show, the new Game of Thrones TV show, um, all kinds of stuff like that, and, and some games too. So uh, it's this idea of taking... Now in sound, they don't take millions of objects. They take, you know, maybe hundreds and collect them together. And it's just really neat. Do you want to kind of talk through some of the, uh, well, and one of the things that Nuno and his team did was they generously provided you yeah. with their software so you could try it out because you're the audio engineer, right? I, I just am a right. talking head that edits things. I don't, I don't mess with frequencies and all that. So, so tell us a little bit about what that experience was like. Uh, it was cool. I actually, I, at first I was like, what the hell is this and how do I use it? Cause I didn't know anything about sound particles when I first uh, got that download or whatever, but uh, it's, it's just, it's a really cool tool for 3d audio. And um, it made me really wish I had a 3d studio to really setup. Get, get and mess around with it and stuff like that. But um the, there's ways you can use that stuff on on 2D or binaural audio as well, and uh, I happen to be mixing some music right now, and so I I pulled in um, some of those plugins just to mess around with them. Like I was mixing this guitar that uh, goes back and forth in this track, um, and I tried using one of their plugins to just have the guitar swirl around your head instead. So you know, so cool. 
it's really cool because uh, if you got headphones on, it'll it'll feel like it's swirling around you, or if you you know if, if you're in like a I don't know a car or something like that, it might you might get that effect. But it 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 does all of this um, computing to to basically change the frequency response of stuff depending on you know how far away it is from you and then where it's located around your head or whatever and and uh that all their plugins do stuff like that like one of them you talk to them about about um air it's called yeah. it's simply you can just take a sound source and just put it farther away from yourself and then you can change the parameters of the environment that you're in like the the uh temperature and and humidity and it'll mm-hmm. change the frequency response of whatever that is you can put it like 10 feet away or two miles away or mm-hmm. or whatever and it's just uh really neato just really neat tools and um yeah yeah and, and i think one of the coolest bits too is that nuno nuno decided to teach at university for almost 20 years. I think he says like 17 or 16, 17, 18 years, something like that. And he did that so that he could have time to do research and and things. Um, And, but I think something that's clearly very important to him is education. And so Mm. there are several free tools on their website, soundparticles.com, one of which is air. There's a, there's a free version of air. So you don't have to, you know, buy the whole chunk. Of course, if you're a student or you teach yourself, you can have all of their products for free, which is amazing. But one of my favorite things about, uh, that they offer for free on the website is, uh, an ebook about immersive audio and 3d audio. And it's barely more than 40 pages long. And it is very rudimentary, meaning I can read it and understand it. And it's Mm -hmm. like, there's no, no one like throwing up math equations on a wall, explaining to you why this sound sounds different when the humidity is 60% rather than 30%. But it's, it's just an explanation into, you know, what is Dolby Atmos? What is, what are these things? And, and again, that's a free download from, from their website. And it's really well done. He has written other books in Portuguese about uh, sound design and other kinds of development tools um but uh the free thing on it's just it's so cool so um yeah really neat company also yeah i I, uh i'll have to check out that that i did check out i haven't watched them all but he did a series of videos that explain yep 3d audio too and i was just looking into some of those because i know a little bit about that stuff but but he like from what i've seen so far he just breaks it down to explain how 3D audio works, all the different formats that people use to mix mm-hmm. to and in theaters and home studios and stuff like that. And it's just, it's cool. And it's going to be more and more relevant, you know, as VR gets yeah. bigger and, and, uh, and also just, it's fun to be able to get into that kind of mixing, you yep. know, for anybody who mixes stuff. Right. Those, and yeah, I... those videos are, are, are great. And I, I recommend those yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah, totally. And I think um, it, it is important to say that I think the application for a lot of these tools may be designed for sound design, you know, when you're the person making the sound of the explosion or you're the person making the rain or whatever it is, or the battlefield of, you know, 700 people fighting with, you know, ancient weapons or whatever mm-hmm. you're trying to mass produce. But, you know, like I think we've probably maybe made clear that Sam you're you're a musician you you write music mm-hmm. and you've found some really fun applications for this in particular the plugin called density yeah. which blew my mind and i say that a thousand times in the podcast and i keep <laughs> i keep talking about it because uh, just talk about density if you would uh well density is super cool it basically it's a molting tool as in m u l t molting Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, uh, he, he says at some, at, at some point in the episode that, you know, people have made choruses for a long time that do similar stuff where it basically it, you can make multiples of a sound file and then play them all at once, but they get slightly detuned or detime so that when they're playing back, it's not just a double, it's like a, mm-hmm. it, it, it makes things feel richer and fuller and stuff. And the density tool is just a super cool version of that because you can not only place um, your molts in 3d spaces, 
but you can, you have all sorts of like uh, controls over, you know, how many there are, how, how detuned or, or not they get, how, you know, how, how much they move around you, if they're going to move uh, and stuff like that. And, and I haven't, I've messed around with that a little bit when it was super fun. Um, but something like that, I'm definitely going to try messing with more for doing synth effects and, and other interesting audio effects in music. Um, it can get out of control really fast because you can put like a hundred voices <laughs> and, and just have them go nuts. But you, but I was messing around making, you know, uh, just taking vocal tracks because a lot of times when people record vocal tracks, they'll re record them a few times and then mix in the molts to fill out a voice and also uh, smooth it out in case one's going a little sharp, the other's going a little flat. It helps kind of, mm -hmm. you know, causes this chorus effect or whatever. And with this, I was, I'm able to take a vocal track, mess around with the density plugin and have six other U's, you know, and just, and <laughs> yeah. you can blend it to where it sounds nice. And it's just cool. A very yeah. cool tool for, for that purpose, which it gets used a lot in music. So. Right. And time-saving to a lot of these tools, yeah. just like, just reduce your workload by many, many hours for sound designers around the world. So yeah, it's a, it's a huge deal. It's a really cool mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. Yeah. And I, the other thing I'll say is, uh, is just <clears throat> stick with him because some people might have a hard time understanding, uh, his Portuguese accent, um, mm. talking through the zoom call there, but, mm -hmm. uh, but, um, it's worth listen so to him he's, he's a fun smart and interesting dude yeah yeah really great guy loved talking with him and also just you know like you i think find a lot in the game audio community just a really nice kind person and really interested in helping people understand how to use the tools so if you download them and you have any questions email sound particles they will help you they're they're a great team of people and mm -hmm. uh with great tools so yeah so that's who's coming up this week do you want to say anything more about nuno or sound particles uh i don't think so just uh yeah. it's it's a fun uh, li little little detour you know um compared to yeah. normal episodes and stuff and and i think it's it'll be interesting to to everybody <laughs> were you able to put in some samples I put it. Yep. I, okay, I was good. able to put in some, yeah. Yeah. Fun. Yep, a couple of examples of, of things. Yeah. Cool. Okay, <laughs> good. I can't wait to hear them. So that episode is going to come out Friday and you can find it wherever you stream your podcast level with Emily. Uh, please do subscribe to this YouTube channel. You can find us on discord and you could support us on Patreon. If you'd like patreon.com slash level. I'm Emily Reese and that over there i always point in the wrong direction so i'm pointing both directions point now up. that's point up that's sam <laughs> keenan <laughs> and uh yeah check out the episode and we'll uh we'll be back next week with more later i can never remember how to end this thing this is always the funniest part about ending this thing it's like how do 